people are like, trust is earned. I'm like, cool, that seems fucking slow and egotistical. You like give trust maybe easier than some CEOs would? I do. Why is that? What, what's the methodology? It's offense. I think people say no too often because they fear ramifications. I don't think micro losses are scary and empowering people to make decisions is how you scale. And to me, I've always thought that somebody doing an 86 instead of my 100 is better than not doing it at all. Plus, how am I ever gonna learn if somebody is capable without giving them a chance? Like eventually you have to let your kid swim. Eventually you have to let them swing the bat. Um, and so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm completely not driven by fear. And people are, and the reason people don't let people do things is they fear it or they have, I mean, it's ego. A lot of people don't want their understudies or their direct reports or the people they manage to be better at something than them. It's just insecurity. Uh, I'm massively secure in myself and the, I, that's exactly right, Kibble. It's a good insight and you're doing a good job with this and asking me these questions. Like, I say yes, I give trust at first. You can lose it. People are like, trust is earned. I'm like, cool, that seems fucking slow and egotistical. Like, who the fuck am I to have it earned? You know, like, great, like, fuck that. Uh, to me, trust is given, and then you lose it if you're a dick face, incapable, incapable, excuse me, and, um, and have proven that you're not, you're not worthy of the challenge or the, uh, or the role. I think one thing I've noticed, though, that is a counteract to my move is that a lot of times, when you accelerate that too, too soon, people become entitled. They get, they, in the micro, get a little bit of high on their supply and they think they're big shit and they start having egos underneath you when you were, like, watching my people that I empower with, like, I trust you blindly, then not trust people blindly underneath them is, uh, is heartbreaking, happens often and is something I'm thinking a lot about. How do you communicate or how do you distill that same methodology to the people under you so that it's like a prolonged process? I don't. I, I prefer to see what people actually do naturally themselves than try to micromanage it. I think a lot of people never get a true read on somebody because they've over manipulated their tasks and the person is doing exactly what that boss wants. And to me, to me ultimate scale is allowing people to roam free and expose themselves. It's kind of like that rope, right? I'll give you rope and you can go forever or you can hang yourself with that rope. I think that uh, whatever that analogy is that I've heard in culture, I'm sure is what I'm doing, which is I'm giving unbelievable amounts of rope and some people will run into perpetuity with it and create enormous amounts of happiness and wealth and success and whatever we do together and others will you know, get tripped up on it and get caught up in their bungee cord and, and lose.